That custom brightly make you feel some type of way. Well, it looks like rich homie Quan is definitely feeling some type of way about something that went down with a song that he was supposed to be featured on. Pretty much rich homie Quan had got a song sent to him. Uh, now, he said he was the only one on that song. There's a possibility it was just him and Roddy Rich at first. Who knows? Because they said ultimately it was Roddy Rich's song. But anyways, rich homie Quan pretty much laid his verse down. And I ain't gonna cap. His verse sounded good. I listened to it. And it actually did boost the song, make the song better. But whenever the song actually actually got released it looks like rich homie Quan wasn't on a song and he actually said who told them to take him off the song and i'll get right into those details right after the intro welcome back to key talk media it is your host key talk check it out man all right i want to get you out to notification game key talk game for rocking with me every single video if you listen to my voice right now go and hit the notification bell so you get a notification every single time i drop a video anyways and yes of course i'm going to get into little Migos chain issue as well but first of all rich homie Quan is spazzing out upset right now you know what i'm talking about he actually is upset with roddy rich because the song was supposed to come out with him featured on it but instead they took him off they ended up putting Gucci Mane and I believe Lil Wayne on a song. And pretty much he's like, hold up, hold up, hold up. Man, nobody ain't called my phone to let me know that y'all about to be doing this type of stuff. You know what I'm talking about? And as he's going off about it, somebody did let him know that, you know, constructing a song. That the person that said they didn't want him on a song was Roddy Rich. You know what I'm talking about? So Roddy Rich actually requested that they take Rich Homie Quan off. Uh, now, seeing the fact that I'm guessing that that was his song, they're going to apply by that and actually do that. Man, you know. Rich homie Quan went off about it all, you know, talking about to the point where he actually ended up challenging Roddy Rich to a catalog versus, you know, talking about he's like, hey man, listen, we can go verse for verse. You know, I put 10 million up, you can put up 1 million up, you know, talking about, and we can go verse for verse, song for song, you know, talking about. And go off, like, oh, and, and what, Roddy? I ain't never got one with Roddy. So I'm, I'm excited, I'm excited, I'm playing him on, on my Twitch, I'm playing him in my car. Them all drop. One well, thing I'm on them all. A coin is nowhere to be found. What type of shit? Is, when we started doing that, even if you ain't like my verse, you could have just, you know, like, bro, we're going to go a different route. But, bro, I feel Gucci, man. My verse was harder than Gucci. On it. Like, Wayne kept them all. Man, my verse was harder than Roddy. So then they say, well, coin, you know, I ain't really trying to start no industry. Roddy Rich wanted you off the song. Man, I ain't got no, I ain't even met Roddy. I ain't never met Roddy. I ain't even know he felt some type of way about me. But, but but if he do, and since he do, man, Roddy got that box on. I bet his catalog can't fold mine on now day. Hold up, hold up, hold up. So at this level, rich homie Quan is past the point of feeling some type of way. You know what I'm talking about? At this point, rich homie Quan is straight up like, man, listen, dog. Put your put your music where your mouth at. You know what I'm talking about? You saying you don't want me to put on a song? Put your music where your mouth at. Oh, man, my nose. Oh, they gonna need this cocaine. This ain't no cocaine. New character unlocked. Rich homie the conqueror. Because Buddy, you know, talking about been through a whole lot of stuff within the music industry, of course. But he's still going, you know, talking about 10 years strong. And now he's ready to put his catalog and his money on the line against Roddy Rich. That, that, that's on all the money he got in the bank. I bet my, I bet him. I bet a hundred thousand. Let me make. This, let me say this right. I bet my. I bet I put ten million to his one million. His catalog came from mine now and day. Cause you ain't. You the one that took me off the song. They already said. It. Yeah, it was Roddy's song. Roddy didn't want you on the song, corn. So uh, Roddy, 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 Roddy wanted you off the song. Yeah, so Roddy, since you wanted me off the song, man. See, let go back and forth. Catalog, catalog. You ain't got number that box. See, call that up. See, what? You can't. I bet you can't put me on your worst day, boy. And I and I, I stand on it. I hold on. I stand on it. And then this, this ain't no beef. This ain't, I ain't I ain't looking for no clout. Y'all could just call me and tell me, bro. We're gonna take y'all to so. You know what I'm saying? I'm telling my people about it. Like, well, you know I'm finna have one on drummer. Drummer, that's my man. Like, I ain't got no problem with drumming them. I'm just saying, but if they say Ryder took me out, like Ryder, like I don't like I don't like Brian, I don't, don't want to fight. I just wanna nigga hard drive a hard drive. You can't with me, boy. Hey, you tell my man. Man, you can keep them $500 show because you're only getting booked one time a year. Like 
Anyways, now speaking of Tor, he looks like Lil Migo Chain, at least one of his chains. I know he got a whole lot of chains now, but it looks like one of his chains is back on tour again. You know what I'm talking It's like the second time his chains has left his neck and went on tour around the hood. Now this tour around, it looks like some other people. It's, well, first of all, the people that posted his chain now, they're actually followed by the previous guy that took his chain. I don't know if there's any connection to there or not. But anyways, it looks like his chain's going on a neck-to-neck -neck tour. I don't know how the chain got taken this time. Now, Lil Migo did actually go to Instagram. He denied it. You know what I'm talking about? Now, with the deny that he did, I'll play the video. If this is how your trolling is, it wants some clout. This shit is just like tag war. Anyways, so whether y'all believe Buddy Chain went on another greasy, greasy neck to hood the hood neck tour again, or if y'all think they just clout chasing, I will leave that up to y'all to decide. But also, how do you feel about Rich Homie Quan challenging Roddy Rich to a catalog versus who will win in the versus from uh you know Roddy Rich and also Rich Homie Quan? Let me know some comment down below. Let me know what you think about this entire deal. I'm out.